made a list this time, so that way I uh, know what I'm talking about. All right guys, Travis here with Dutter's Dirt Bikes. So I wanna go over some few misconceptions about fuel, fuel additives, as well as engine oil. So if you've seen my last videos before, for a living, I'm an automotive mechanic. And so, and also I've also read this on Amsoil's uh, website. They got a lot of good information on there, guys. Um, some solid data, not rumors you hear from guys from the auto parts store or Googling or anything like that. So let's get started. Okay, first thing, octane. So there's a lot of misconception about octane with gas and on um, dirt bikes and quads and whatever. Octane, the higher number, does not give you any more power. It will not make your bike run any better unless you have a high compression piston that requires a higher octane. The reason why that is, is because octane is only a pre-detonant. It is not a magical bang power at nothing. Nothing gonna do with that. All it is the pre-detonant. So on a stock bike, even if it's a race bike, they are designed to run on 91 octane. You run 91 octane, good to go, no problem. If you're running a higher compression piston, then you might want to look into a higher octane. So Amsoil makes an octane booster. Uh, so if you have a bike that has a higher compression piston and you don't want to run the VP race gas, which is good stuff, don't get me wrong, but you can run an octane booster uh, just for pre-detonate purposes. So that's the first uh, misconception is octane and, and dirt bikes and race bikes. Same goes with your car, guys. If your vehicle is designed to run on a high octane, then absolutely you need to run a higher octane fuel and it will give you better gas mileage because it's designed to run the higher octane with forced induction engines like turbo superchargers or high compression engines. You won't know until you look it up, but the dirt bikes and motorcycles are designed to run on 91 octane, so you're fine with that. The second misconception while we're talking about fuel is lead. Lead additives were of course designed for old school uh, engines that had no hardened valve seats. So <clears throat> what was happening, so a lot of the big misconception is the lead and the fuel acts as a lubricant or it acts as a cushion. That is actually incorrect. So on these modern day race bikes, you do not need um, a lead additive in any way, shape or form. You have hardened valve seats. The reason why it's a misconception of why it, it's a lubricant or a uh, cushion is because what it actually is, the lead actually acts as a contaminant. The contaminant is what prevented the valve from sticking to and wanting to bond to the head because the old stool cast iron heads did not have hardened valve seats. So that valve, when it got really hot, wanted to stick and wanted to bond to that head. When it did, it would pull a little bit of metal off of it and that's what would destroy them. So it's actually a contaminant um, and not that it's a bad thing. You can run lead if you want, it makes you feel better, but no, you really don't need to. Well, you'd be better off if you wanna um, take care of your valves and your dirt bikes is run a cleaner. The cleaner does have a little bit of lubricant now again, when your valves tap inside your head, there really is not much friction going on. It's more of a bang, more of a slap, but this will help it, um, you know, keep from carbon building up on your valves and you know, it's definitely not a bad thing. I run the Lucas because it is a, a good product. It's fairly cheap and you can buy a big thing of it. You can run your car, run your diesel truck, whatever you want, so that's number two. Okay, so the third one is um, engine oil gets thinner as it gets hot. That is also incorrect. The engine oil does not get thinner, it actually gets thicker, but the flow rate is faster. That's why when you have a hot engine draining your engine oil, it goes out faster. Seeming like it is thinner, but it actually has a faster flow rate, not so much a thinner viscosity. So that's why on your oils you'll get like you know ktm husqvarna and they have a 10w50 your 10 weight is your cold weight your 50 weight is your hot weight when the engine's up to operating temp so i'll see a lot of guys they say 
run your bike, get your bike hot before changing your oil. You can if you want, you're not gonna hurt anything, but my bike has sat overnight or it's sat over the week. All that oil has now worked its way down to the bottom. So when you start up your bike, you're gonna fling all that oil back into the head, back into your camshafts, and then you gotta wait for it to drain that much longer. Now, is it really gonna matter? No, you're talking maybe a tablespoon worth. So if it makes you feel better to get it hot, sure. But I'm just telling you, all your oil has already settled down. So might as well drain it when it's cold.